Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Uh, Todd, looking back on last weekend, just how massive was that result on Sunday? Yeah, and it was a huge performance by the guys. Um, I really, really got to give them credit um, for how they've played over the last uh, couple months and every uh, challenge. Certainly conference-wise, uh, they really stepped up to the mark and it culminated in that uh, big victory in, in Manchester. And just how huge is that, how massive is it for Fife Flyers to, to qualify for, for the playoffs? Well, absolutely. I know that um, we've been immersed in this uh, this conference battle for, for virtually all season now. Um, but wrapping up that playoff spot um, early rather than the last week of the, f the, the, the league really uh, alleviates a bit of the pressure and now we can use these games not only to finish as high as we possibly can in the league but um, also to really tune up against three really good hockey clubs going into the playoffs because I mean there's a good chance that you can meet any one of these guys uh, in any round of the playoffs and um, we want to be at our best for that. How hard is it going to be to try and keep tabs on the Brayhead clan scores to see if they can win the conference? Well, I mean, I'd be lying if I if I said that I wouldn't have uh, an eye glued to the scores. It would be nice if uh, if um, we could get a, a wee favour off of Manchester, who are fighting for their lives for their playoff spot. So they're going to bring their best, uh, obviously. But we've really accomplished all that we can do um, by uh, by winning out. Um, these guys have all stepped up to the mark. And, uh, and it, they've laid a marker down for the Brayhead clan to, to try and match. Um, so regardless of what happens uh, in the upcoming weekends, I'm, I'm proud of the guys and uh, how they've really come together as a squad and uh, really won a, a, a number of key games, you know, really since um, the end of December. Did you feel any pressure going into Sunday's game knowing that Fife had to, had to get a win? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you, you know, this has been a, a little bit of an up and down year, um, you know, professionally for myself. And um, it would be really nice. Um, I, I think my main goal, obviously, um, was to get this team playing uh, the, the best they possibly could be playing, which I think we've accomplished. Um, Getting some silverware and bringing that back to Fife would be a, a, a great accolade, uh, not only for the town, but uh, for the directors who have really stood behind us uh, for the last five seasons. But like I said, that's all up in, in somebody else's hands right now. And uh, we can control our run up into the playoffs and, and how we do in playoffs. So that's going to be our main focus, uh, but we'll definitely be keeping our eye on things. Uh, do you feel Fife Flyers as a team, as a club, has grown in the last five years? Oh. Ross, absolutely. I think if you look at it season by season, um, in in all areas on and off the ice, we've really grown um, as a team and as a group, um, and, and culminated this year um, our fifth season in the league. Not only vying for a conference title, making the playoffs um, as early as possible, and getting uh, and. and What's the word I'm looking for? It's it's best bettering our uh, our wins record once again. Um, we, we've really been taking steps forward. I think it it shows we're not yo-yoing up and down. Um, we're, we're consistent performers and we're getting better every year. I know at times that might not be fast enough for people, but I, I think that people watch um, great great hockey um, from these guys. And 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 like I said, as a group, um, we've really matured and. Uh, and really move forward so it's, it's nice to be a part of and uh, but I got to give a I mean it's the credit's got to go to these hockey players who uh, come in week in week out they really got a hard time at the start of the season but uh, they really got themselves close together and uh, just found a way to win hockey games we were just looking over a few stats the other day and I mean as it stands right now we're 10 points out of first place um, Whereas, you know, in other successful or regarded as successful seasons for us, sometimes we were 20, 30, you know, 35 points out of first place, which is a huge gap. It's not only shows how well we've come along as a team, but how well the, uh, how close and competitive the league has become. And uh, I mean, it's a fun and interesting place to be right now. I mean, March here 
it seems like all the rest of the games mean something for virtually everybody. Uh, and that's the way you really want it to be when you're playing hockey. Go to the rink not knowing who's going to win on a given night and not know until possibly the final weekend what the playoff positions are going to be. So um, interesting times ahead. And uh, it's nice that we have a couple weeks here against some three good solid teams to uh, tune up for the playoffs and uh, and and try to you know fine tune things and, and and get even better. And what's your expectations going into this Sunday at home to Nottingham? Well, a team that's really um, maybe they're under a bit of fire themselves early on in the season and and really went through it. But Nottingham have that canny way of uh, always hanging on and always being in things. They've just grabbed another uh, a bit of silverware and. Um, and I'll tell you, they're not out of that league title yet. So they're going to be coming in this building. We'll probably see their best. And it'll be a good uh, benchmark for us to see where we're at and uh, and see how we compete with maybe a little bit of the pressure off us as well. Because, like I said, maxing out, maximizing our uh, conference points and uh, gaining that playoff spot's really kind of alleviated some of the pressure maybe these guys have been feeling the last couple of weeks. Finally, um, you and TJ have come down here this afternoon for a Fife Free Press photo shoot. Uh, what did you make of TJ Keg's uh, mean face? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what kind of face Kegger's got, but uh, no, he, it's it's a little bit of fun and, and just a little bit of different a venue. It's good to get out of the, the rink and away from the house and, uh, you know, you can come down here and fool around a little bit um, because the pressure has been alleviated a little bit. Um, and, and I think that this team here, um, the way they've performed over the last month or so and uh, with a bit of the pressure off them, uh, who knows, we'll see where we can go from here. Thank you. Thank you.